Mother's Day will soon be upon us, so for this video I am demonstrating this flower pendant. I am using this top drilled faceted glass drop bead. Your drop bead doesn't have to be faceted, you can use whatever you have. In my first try at this design, I used these iridescent glass beads. This is a 14 inch length of 0.8mm soft bare copper wire. Find the middle of the wire. At the middle point, bend the wire to quite a tight angle. You want the bead to sit on top of the wire. Bend the wire to a similar shape as the bead, but slightly smaller, so that the bead can sit comfortably on top. Where the wire crosses, bend so that both ends of the wire are parallel to each other. This is a 14 inch piece of 0.2mm copper wire. Find the centre of the wire. Start wrapping the 0.8mm wire at the centre point. Wrap the weaving wire 8 times around the side of the wire starting at the point. Flip the wire and weave on the other side. Thread one end of the weaving wire through the hole on the bead. Thread the other end of the weaving wire through the hole of the bead from the other direction.
Pull the weaving wires tight until the bead is sitting in position on top of the wire. Secure the bead by continuing to wrap the weaving wire around the sides of the 0.8mm wire. Where the wires meet, take one of the weaving wires and wrap the wires together. Wrap in a figure of eight pattern, wrapping twice around one wire, bringing the weaving wire back up between the two wires. And then wrap twice around the other wire. Repeat once more. Trim off the excess weaving wire. Bend the wires upwards over the front of the bead. Now bend the wires towards the side of the bead and bend to form a loop at the side of the bead. Take your time and try to get the sides looking even. Using my short chain nose pliers, I am pinching the top of the loops together. When you pull the wire back into position, it should form a leaf shape.
Bend the wires at the bottom so that they are together and parallel. I have a 14 inch length of 0.2mm wire. Start at the point of the leaf shape. Wrap the weaving wire twice around one side of the leaf, bringing the weaving wire back up inside the leaf. Wrap the weaving wire twice around the other side, bringing the weaving wire back up inside the leaf. If you struggle getting the weaving wire to go under the leaf wire, gently lift it slightly away from the surface of the bead. I am securing the leaf to the frame by threading the weaving wire under the frame below the leaf before continuing the weave. You only need to do this once. Continue weaving in this figure of eight pattern maintaining the shape of the leaf. Remove the excess weaving wire. Repeat on the other side. This is another 14 inch length of 0.2mm wire. Weave the two wires together using the same weaving technique as the leaves. I have woven for one centimetre. Remove the tail of the weaving wire but leave the rest intact.
bend the wires into loops at the side of the flower stem. This loop is approximately 7 mm in diameter. Pinch the top of the loops to create more leaf shapes. Bend the leaves so that they are angled slightly upwards. Then the rest of the wires back parallel. Use 0.2mm wire to fill in these leaves, the same as the upper leaves. You will need approximately 14 to 16 inches of wire. With the weaving wire that we left attached earlier, continue weaving the stem. Weave for another centimetre and remove the excess weaving wire. Bend the unwoven wires outwards. Now bend the wires upwards towards the point of the flower. At the top where the wires meet, bend them slightly outwards. This is an 8 inch length of 0.8mm copper wire. Bend the ends towards each other and cross them over. Pull the ends until you have a small loop in the middle of the wire. This loop will sit under the base of the flower. Here I have another bead. 
and a length of 0.6 mm wire. Thread the wire through the hole in the bead, leaving approximately 1 inch on one side. Bend both ends of the wire upwards. Bend the longer wire end upwards. Wrap the shorter end around the upwards wire and trim off the excess. Make a bend in the wire. Use round nose pliers to make a loop. Wrap the wire around below the loop and cut off the excess. Thread the bead onto the wire and manoeuvre onto the loop. Take a length of 0.2mm wire and find the centre. You will require approximately 50 inches of wire. Starting from the top of the loop, wrap the weaving wire 14 times around one side of the wire. Flip the wires and repeat on the other side. The end of the wrapping should line up with where the wires meet. If not, add a few more wraps until they line up. Now wrap the wires together. Wrap twice around both wires. Wrap twice around just the outer wire. Repeat this pattern. Flip the wires and repeat on the other side. Make sure that the bottom loop is centralised. Bend the outer wire to follow the inner wire and continue weaving.
weave until the top point of the flower. With the weaving wire, wrap the inner wire twice with the top of the wire under the bead. Now wrap twice around the two wires. Repeat on the other side. Continue weaving the wires to the point where they meet. Wrap one of the weaving wires twice around the two inner wires. Bend the wires parallel to each other. Take another length of 0.2mm wire, this piece is 20 inches. Start with the weaving wire between the two middle wires and wrap twice around the two top wires. Wrap twice around the two bottom wires. Wrap twice around the two middle wires. Wrap twice around the two top wires. Back to the bottom two wires and repeat the pattern. I have wrapped for two centimeters. Finish the pattern with the two bottom wires and the weaving wire in between the middle wires. Remove all the excess weaving wires. I am using this small screwdriver to help me shape the bale. Bend the two outer wires outwards. Bend the wires over the screwdriver, bringing the outer wires to the front. The front wires are crossed over at the base of the bale. At the back, trim the wires shorter. Tuck the cut ends around the wire at the back of the bale.
At the front, I start forming a small loop at the end of the wires. Trim off a small amount from the ends of the loops. Continue forming the loops. Switch to pliers with a flat nose to roll the loops into flat coils. Thank you for watching, please join me for my next video.